Hello guys, this is Vista School here with a tutorial on how to make a simple, easy progress bar in Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition. Alright, and this tutorial, um, you'll be using just two buttons, a timer, and a regular progress bar, alright? So to get started, just open up your Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition, I already have, and you want to go click on a file, and just click on your project over there. And then uh, it's going to, um, something goes to the pop-up that says here, and it's going to say new project. And you want to select the Windows Form application, right? Um, you can name it every while, just name it progress bar. Alright, so I'm going to let it load up. Alright, so it's loaded up. Now I want to do is, uh, let's change the, um, the name of the form. By clicking on the form and clicking on properties. And it's going to say, next to text, it's going to say form 1. I'll just name it progress bar again. You can change the icon if you want, but we don't need to do that. Then we're going to go to toolbox and add double click on buttons twice. So you're going to get two buttons here. Um, move this up a little bit. Alright, so you can put them right here. Alright, then you now we're going to add um, a progress bar. I'm going to extend it, alright, and then all we got to do now is add a timer, so we got the timer now, now let's change the text of the um, button, we'll change button 1 to start, change button 2 to stop, and then now it's time for the coding, right, for um, button 1, which is going to be start, you want to write this, you're going to write timer 1, Start. And that's it. You don't need to do anything else. So um, go back to form one. You want to double click on um, the stop button and type timer one dot stop. Now you want to double click on the on the um, timer. All right. You don't need, you don't need to uh, touch the progress bar at all. Now we want to write this um, code: progress bar dot increment plus one. So that means when um when you press button um button one which is start, it's gonna it's gonna enable the timer because that's why it's timer one start and it's gonna push the um progress bar on an increment of one. I mean it'll move one step. Now we wanna write an if command, right? So we're gonna write if progress bar one dot value equals a hundred which is the maximum you can change it then you you can write whatever you want though, but this, you don't really you don't need, really need to uh, do anything to do it. But that's it mostly. Um, yeah. Um, so you can just debug it. We just wait for this to debug. All right. So here's the progress bar. Now all we gotta do is click start, and then the progress bar increments as one. You can change it to two; it'll go faster. Three, even more faster. Now if you click stop, it will stop it, but it kind of lags a little bit. Like it, it kind of adds three more increments. You can click start again, and that's it. Once you get the value, you can add any then commands, like make a form pop up or anything, or whatever you want message box. But yeah, that's how you make a progress bar in Visual Basic 2008. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope to help you a lot. Please subscribe and comment on my channel and thank you very much for watching this video.